Hello, once again, Nelson here. Today, I'm going to do a video that I've thought of doing a very long time. We are going to open a verified PayPal account without using any international details. We are going to use our Ghanaian details on a Ghanaian IP. Why am I doing this video? This video is coming up because a lot of people have been having issues with phone numbers, especially with using legitimate US details. And that is another video I've done on PayPal, several of them with US details, but people are having issues with that. So this is the only video you would need if you're having issues with using US details. I'll create another one with the US details and how you can get uh, another phone number from somewhere else, uh, apart from test now, but this is one for you if you want a uh, Ghanaian, you want to use your Ghanaian phone number and on a Ghanaian IP. So without much ado, let's start. So let's go to paypal.com. Okay. So I've created a lot of these videos and I cannot use my email address again or once more so I would have to use a temporary email so let me go to my temporary email inbox very well so I can use one of these emails here I'll send a link on the video I'll create with temporary emails and how to use them for your online business so on PayPal as you see here on the browser it says paypal.com forward slash us first slash home so this is the paypal web page for us citizens but since we are going to use our Ghanaian details and of course we would have to put it on a Ghanaian ip we would need to use an african-based account so we need an account a country which is PayPal compliant, an African country, of course, apart from Ghana, because Ghana is not PayPal compliant. We are still waiting for the vice president, Dr. Baumia, and his promise that PayPal will be here this year or next year. So without wasting so much time on PayPal US webpage, we scroll down. I realize my videos have been quite long of late, so um, I'll quicken up with this one, but I hope you can see what I'm doing scroll down and then you look at this US flag here that is a link you click on it very well so as you click on it it says PayPal yada 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 country worldwide so all the countries that are on PayPal and since Africa start with a alphabetically you see the African countries very well here and um, which country are we going to use for this purpose since ghana is not here where else which anglophone country we could use nigeria but nigeria can only send money through paypal they cannot withdraw why and why is that important so let's go to another paypal web page so that i'll show you why paypal dot com forward slash a g i yada 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 i'll put this link in the description below so that you see and can also assess this and explore it for yourself what this means is that this web page will show you this an, an old paypal web page they don't use it anymore but you can assess it it shows you what each and every country can do each and every PayPal compliant country can do. With the US, they can send, receive, and withdraw money. When we go to Nigeria, and Nigeria as a country can only send money or send funds without sharing your financial information. Nigeria can only send monies through PayPal. They cannot withdraw monies with PayPal. So that is why it wouldn't be advisable to use Nigeria for this purpose which other anglophone country none i that i know not very familiar countries here we want an, a west african country because 
the card you'll be using, the UBA Africa card, is from West Africa. Even though it's very popular in Africa, it's best to have a country that is closer to West Africa. It's, it's, it looks like and it feels like that one will be perfect for withdrawals. Um, I've used Lesotho on another video. What about Kenya? You look at all those countries. These are the countries I, I would prefer. But most of these countries they are Francophone countries. And their web page may probably be in French. So maybe Lesotho or Kenya or maybe Ethiopia. We see how best that would work. So today, this time round, let's try Kenya and see. Let's verify if Kenya can do what Kenya can do. With Kenya, Kenya can send, receive and withdraw funds from PayPal back to your US bank account. Unless you have a US bank account as a Kenyan, that is the only time you can withdraw your monies. Probably they have other ways they withdraw monies. But the best option is to withdraw or receive the money through a card, a Visa card, a MasterCard, or any of these cards. That is the best option and that is what we are going to use. So we are going to leverage this option by using a card. So let's go on and see how best we can go about this Kenyan account with our Ghanaian details and on our Ghanaian IP. So we are on Kenya PayPal web page, paypal.com, K-E, that is Kenya Web Apps, M-P-P, slash home. That is the home page. We can sign up for free. But we scroll down here and see whatever they have there. We come here. We are not going to create an individual account, but a seller account. I've mentioned that in another video. I'll link to that video. A seller account will give you a business account. That is the best option for us here. So we click on for sellers and then we can either learn more or straight up go into setting up your account. So let's click on learn more. So there you are with the Kenyan web app or PayPal's homepage for Kenyan. So this is what you see if you're in Kenya as your PayPal web page. So this is where we are going to create our business account. Mm -hmm. So we can either go through this route here, sign up or get started. All these will work. So let's get started. Very well. As of now, we are doing quite well. So we can start creating our account. So we get started, enter an email address to sign up or log in. And I've used my email address severally that I can't use anymore. That is why I need my temporary email. So this is an email I can use online, which is not my Gmail account. It is a temporary email I can use and throw away anytime. But never close this page. If you close it, you have lost your email. You cannot access it anymore unless you have uh, you have cached it and you can go back to it because any email they'll send back will come into this web page so we can either use this email it looks weird but it's an email that will work we can copy it or we can change it we can copy it to clipboard let's copy it and then go into our account and put it there we go to nest so if it was not right, you see that there will be a red line under it. But since it's good, that means it's perfect. I also have a password manager. So I will use that for my password so that this will be quick. So immediately to my last pass password manager. Now my business information. Okay. The business is, let me use PayPal Ghana. That's the business name. So legal first name is PayPal and the last name is Ghana. So it says PayPal Ghana as a business name. Now we go to the country. Since we are using a Kenyan based web page, Kenya is there. But we scroll down and look for Ghana for this purpose. Okay, so it's plus two three three, the business phone number. So then we can put our phone number there. Two four four one 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 two two two. Okay, 
and a business address for a business address since we we struggle with addresses in ghana i wouldn't want to put a po box there but i'll put something which will be recognizable or c 11 street that's a weird <laughs> address but the city accra state is also optional let's say that's also accra postal code for postal code we would use 2233 but I wouldn't use that anymore since we have a GPS and I'll link to a video with the GPS system in Ghana. Ghana Post GPS. So Ghana Post GPS, this is their website. And I'd like you to see how we are going to determine what our postal code would be. So for Greater Accra, let's say we are in Accra, that is GA. So we look here, look at the head office. It's in Greater Accra, GA. They have th the first three digits and then the last four digits. So the initials here, the alphabet and the first three digits would make for your postal address. So GA228 will make for your postal address. So here I'll say GA484 for my postal address. What will be your primary currency? USD is perfect. So we agree to this. You can always take a screenshot of this page for future use. You may forget any of the details, but with a, a screenshot, you can always remember this and go back to it. For your phone number, this may not be my phone number, but I would need to put a legitimate phone number because that is where a verification code would hit for me to put into PayPal, especially when I'm verifying a card a debit card or prepaid card linking that to my account so you should put your phone number there for that purpose don't just put any number there like I, like i have done here so we agree and continue so you see you have not changed any ip neither have we changed our Ghanaian details we are all using the same information what type of business is it so it can be a sole proprietor and an individual a partnership be very careful with these ones here Anyone you choose may neglect Ghana as a country, but as a new individual, we can have Ghana in there. Products or services, what product do we sell? So let's say we sell a fast food restaurant that is optional for business URL if, if that is applicable. The nationality, okay, provide information about PayPal Ghana. That is PayPal Ghana is our business name. The nationality would be Ghana. We can have our ID here. Normally, ID cards, number, star regime. Ba, 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 ba. Uh -huh. Let me put that there. 7th July, date of birth of our business. 7th, 7, 2007. Okay. Home address is the same as business address. Okay. Uh, you see, we have two Accra in there. We can always go back and then fix it but that wouldn't be necessary for now then we submit it must be 18 years sorry so this is not 18 years yet so 2000 will be okay you can also take a screenshot of this page so thanks for signing up we have an account already we have signed up to paypal so then we can set up payments so that is our email if you can see we can confirm our email address this is the way we can get a verified paypal account by confirming all other details and verifying them so first of all we will confirm our email address confirm your email address to activate your account since i'm using a temp mail a temporary email this message paypal we're sending will go into my temporary email inbox if you're using your gmail account it will hit your gmail inbox if you don't find it you click on recent it's on this page and it you'll, you'll find it there once again so we scroll down on our attempt email and then we refresh our message list and see what we have there so okay so paypal is here already okay confirm your email scroll down again so confirm your email okay so now we have been able to confirm our email you can add your bank account if you have a bank account for this purpose uh, if you remember when we went to this page it says you should have a us bank account for this purpose 
there are ways you can get a U.S. bank account if you have a, uh, a U.S. citizen or someone living in the U.S. who can help you with a bank account that is perfect for you. But that wouldn't be necessary for this purpose now. So we can choose our payment methods. How would you like to get paid? Automatically, this is chosen for you to be paid on your website. Accept credit cards and payment on your website. Or you want invoicing online or get paid on eBay. These are all options you can put. So we'll choose all the options and continue. So first of all, on your website, there's how you can go about that. They'll give you options to also go about the other of payment avenues with online invoicing and getting paid on eBay. So that is for the payment section. So if you want to receive payments on your website, these are ways you can do that. That is not our main aim today. Let's click on link and confirm debit or credit card. That is another way of verifying this account because we want a verified PayPal account. So you went to this notification bell and that is what it's telling us to do. You can transfer funds, send or request funds, payment preferences, merchant fees. So this is a very important page. If you want to transfer funds, send or request payment. So we click on send and request or request payment. Pay for your goods and services. Uh, make a, a mass payment request from customers. So I really love this option request payment from customers. You click on that. You put the customer's name or email address here and then you click on next. An email will be sent to the payee for him to pay you by clicking a link and then he can add his card or bank account and then start paying you. So if you will follow this tutorial, we have not changed anything. We just leveraging a PayPal compliant country like Kenya to create this account. If you have any questions with this account or how to add anything, let me know in the comments area and I'll do a backup or a follow up video for this purpose. I hope you have enjoyed this video.